Hey designers, in this video I want to show you how you can design this minimal interactive portfolio gallery using local variants and components in Figma. Okay, so I have uh, these assets ready. Basically these are my colors that I'm going to use and uh, the name of the filter. So first of all, what we need to do is to make a uh, component uh, and that's going to be our button that we're going to use for the filter. So let's use this uh, text layer basically uh, we have just the name and uh, I use a Satoshi uh, font and it's uh, 24 uh, pixels in size so let's press shift a to make it out of layout and let's add some paddings uh, from left and right I want to add uh, 40 and uh, for top and bottom I'm gonna have 24 like this then I need to add stroke I'm adding stroke it's black so we are using the same color and now uh, we need to change the inside to the center so it's gonna be uh, the stroke is gonna be on the center of our um, uh, button right uh, so now we should change the name of it uh, so we're changing to filter and now I'll change it to uh, not change it, I'll add uh, a variant to it the the name of the variant so it's gonna be uh, off and I'll make another variant uh, or a copy of this uh, and I'll call it on like this it doesn't matter the, how you call them or how you make them but it's just easier for me to do it this way uh, and now I'll make fill so I use fill add some fill and I add black color to it like this now I change the color of the font and it's gonna be white like this and now let's make a component set out of these two buttons so we are making components set on top here click and we have this filter ready right so this is default state and this is the active state and now uh, let's make our um, filter uh, with different uh, different filters <laughs> uh, that would that we're going to use to change uh, our uh, photographs uh, underneath our gallery uh, now i'm pressing shift a again to add out a layout and you see uh, by default it adds a paddings i don't need them so i press zero here and zero here uh, but i'll select my component filter component and i am now i'm pressing command d to add another button basically i need two buttons extra two buttons and now i'm changing the direction of the out layout it's going to be horizontal uh, layout and also i'm removing uh, the spacing between these buttons so it's going to be zero like this now we have uh, our almost ready filters right now I need to copy them like this and change the state uh, of the first button here I change the property to on and this one's going to be on too and this one's going to be on now I'm changing the names of these filters. This is going to be all. This one is going to be portrait. Oh, portraits. And this one is going to be interiors. Like this. Uh, actually, <laughs> it was easier to rename them first and then to copy them. So let's make it again one off and this one on this one off and this one on, like this now we are selecting all of them and we're making component set uh, I didn't rename them because I don't want to waste your time so I'll use it this way okay now let's change the name of our filter so we'll call it filter set just to make it look nicer all right so we have this uh, extra component so we have just the button and here the the set of the buttons that we're going to use in our uh, catalog or portfolio uh, now let's make a um, another component that's going to be our photograph so we'll use um, uh, another frame and uh, we'll make it a square three 
20 by 320 like this and let's call it image image and then we make it a component so, right okay and let's change color just for now also we need to add a stroke here let's add a stroke it's black color and also it's going to be centered like this so we have a centered stroke uh, around this image okay now let's add our um, main frame uh, let's use macbook air i select our component set uh, holding option i drag it over here okay also i drag oops with option i'm dragging the image here okay and also i need to make a a title for this so i press t and here i write portfolio like this and let's make the size of it to 40 or even larger maybe 50 all right like this and now we need to add a outer layout to the image we press shift a so we're adding outer layout we remove uh, all the paddings here, zero, zero, and we remove spacing, also zero. And now let's add more of these images. So I press Command D, I add them. It's going to be four. See, it's exactly uh, the width of our artboard or our frame. And here's a trick we need to add we need to change the layout of our out layout from horizontal to wrap like this you see the icon changed also so we we can know that it's not horizontal or vertical and now let's add more images here okay i'm adding more images but for for some reason it doesn't work that's because we have hug here but we need to select um we need to select fill container but we don't have fill container yet because we need to add um, this a set of images to another art layout so we select it and we select our filters and we select uh, the portfolio and now we add out layout shift a and now we can change the fill of the images from hug to fill container and we can select the the main container to this one and change it to exact the size of our frame let's move it over here on the top now select the uh, title and add another outer layout and let's make the alignment to the left and center of the portfolio and let's add some paddings I'll add 40 uh, from the left and uh, right and 40 from top and bottom like this and I need to add a stroke and it's going to be in the center one pixel and then we need to add another out layout uh, for this set of filters so we add another out layout and we change the hug horizontal hug to fill container and let's add stroke again and one pixel and we change this to center now we have this uh, sort of uh, long lines right and also don't forget to add uh, don't forget to add stroke on the main outer layout that uh, holds everything inside so we add out layout here too and it should be center like this and here we need to remove we need to remove mm, the spacing and also I want to change uh, the portfolio out layout a little bit because I don't like the way it connects here so I'll just uh, select it uh, select this out layout and I move it all the way over here so it's going to be the same line and it connects like this so it's very geometrical and now uh, let's change let's add more of the uh, images like this and let's just change it a little bit this way okay and let's add 
a stroke uh, to our um, to our out layout that holds all the images. So we add stroke here also, um, one pixel and center. Okay, I think it's ready. Uh, let's check it. Uh, let's go to prototype and see how it looks. And also don't forget to change the color of the main um, of the main uh, out layout from white to this beige and also we need to change the color of the prototype the, the background in prototype with this beige also and let's see how it looks well it looks fine yeah like this you see it looks okay and now mm, actually we can uh, we can even add more more padding on uh, top where the portfolio is so like this 500 yeah no i think it looks much better and now we can play around with the images so i just select random images uh holding shift and command like this and I open Unsplash plugin and here I choose portrait okay and now I choose the rest of the squares of the, our images and here I click interior okay good uh, so we're almost ready so we have this uh, gallery really simple geometrical gallery and now we need to add variables right so we go to local variables and we need to add boolean we add boolean in here we call it portrait and set it to true now let's add another boolean and here we click on interior and set it to true also close this and now uh, let's go back to our um, filter set go into prototype and select the button that says portraits and connect it with the second variant on click change to uh, dissolve and here we need to add we need to add variable set variables and since this is portraits we need to select portrait and select true and now here's the trick we need to add another variable we click set variable click interior and here we click false okay so we have um, portrait true interior false when we click on this button so we change it and uh, we have those variables here let's select interior now and change it to the third variant and here we need to do the same thing we set variables we click on portrait and here portrait should be false and click another set variable click interior and here we click true so for the interior when we click on it it changes to this variant and uh, it sets uh, true for the interiors and false for the portraits and now let's go to uh, this uh, second variant with all button and we change that we, we we drag the arrow to the first variant and here we click uh, on set variable select variables we select portrait we click on true uh, another variable set variable interior and also true okay so when we select all uh, portraits and interiors will have the true value and for the interiors here let's connect it with the third variant and also we need to set variables here portrait should be false and interior should be true Okay, so basically we're set. Uh, so I repeated all the uh, variables, mm, and uh, let's see. 
uh, what do we have here uh, now we need to add variables to all those images so we select the portraits um, with command shift I select all of them and now I go to design and here uh, I move my cursor on top of the eye in the layer section and press second click and here I choose portraits for the variables I do the same thing command shift for the interior images and here right click and I set variable interior to true and now let's go back to our prototype let's make it full screen like this and let's see it in action so when I press the portraits I see only portraits when I press interiors I see only interiors and when I press all I see all the images isn't it cool guys thank you for watching this video I hope it was useful for you so good luck with your designs and local variables so don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one bye bye